This video demonstrates the installation process of S6GC3P, 125-200, K07ND, S6GC3P, 8100, K07LVND String Inverter Series. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. The inverter is heavy. Please pay attention to personnel safety during handling and installation. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation and avoid direct sunlight. When the inverter is running, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Install the mounting bracket. This video demonstrates the bracket installation method, and the actual installation should be adjusted according to the specific working conditions. Appropriate space should be reserved around the inverter. Please install the inverter vertically. If the inverter cannot be installed vertically, it can be installed at an angle greater than 15 degrees horizontally or at an angle of less than 15 degrees tilted back vertically. The inverter cannot be installed flat. After determining the installation position of the back hanging plate, fix the back hanging plate to the mounting bracket with fixing bolts. Tighten the bolt with the socket. Fix the four corners of the back plate in the same way. Mount the inverter. Due to the large weight of the inverter, incorrect elevation and installation of the inverter may result in contusions or fractures. Therefore, when installing the inverter, please take into account the weight of the inverter and use a suitable method to raise the inverter. When the installer handles the inverter, it is necessary to install for handles to ensure safety, and each handle cannot be subjected to more than 1.5 times the weight of the inverter. If hoisting is required, please follow the legend to secure the rope. The spreader needs to be selected according to the weight of the inverter. Align the inverter hook with the hole of the back hanging plate, and then hang it in. Screw the two, fixing screws included in the package into the inverter fixing holes at the bottom. Grounding Cable Connection the recommended wire diameter for each cable is shown in the figure. The inverter is designed with body grounding and AC grounding at the same time. To ensure safety, be sure to use the grounding methods at the same time. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the PV string voltage is within the DC input voltage range on the nameplate of the inverter. Qualified DC cables must be used. If you want to know how to make DC cables, please refer to the DC cable production demonstration video released by Jinlong Technology. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, high voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inverter, Please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. AC side connection. Remove the three screws on the inverter junction box and open the junction box cover. Cut off the ceiling ring according to the outer diameter of the cable. Thread the AC cable into the AC terminal box. Unscrew the screws on the AC terminal and ground terminal. Tighten the nut after the OT terminal installation is complete. Use a socket wrench to tighten the nut. Close the junction box and tighten the screws on the junction box. Communication Connection There are five communication ports on the inverter. 
GP or S Wi-Fi port is a dedicated port for monitoring sticks. Our S485 port is used for our S485 communication connection between inverters. The DRM port is used for DRM connections. CT, meter port for the meter connection. If you choose Solus Data Lodger, please connect it to the GP or S port on the bottom of the inverter. You can also choose PLC method or our S485 daisy chain to configure the monitoring system. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the AC circuit breaker first, then close the DC switch using the reset handle. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. After the local mandatory delay ends, the inverter will start normal operation. Login to Solus Cloud app. Open the Solus Cloud app. Click More Tools. Local Operation. Connect with Bluetooth. Select the Bluetooth signal from the inverter. If you are the installer, please select the account type as installer. If you are the plant owner, please select the account type as owner. Then set your own initial password for control verification. Remember this password for future logins. Introduction to the functions of the main interface. The main menu has for sub-pages, where you can view content related to inverter settings. If you want to know the grid code settings, please go to the settings page. Click Power Grid Parameter Setting, Grid Standard Parameter Setting, Expand Key. Choose the right criteria. 